I'm back with Jennifer Angle from the Center for Lifelong Learning, and that's where she teaches a course on pediatric CPR. So she's going to give us a quick lesson as we talk really about the importance of this skill. And this is something that would benefit anyone. Oh, absolutely. Um, I know with everything that happened with Damar Hamlin that it's uh, become a lot more uh, visible, but this is something that as young, I mean, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts can do this at a very young age and learn the basic skills. Um, my training is through American Red Cross, but I think I was trained when I was first 13 and have kept the training since then. And so specifically, we're talking pediatric CPR and you've brought with you a baby yes. um, to, 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 to learn on this. So show us what we would do first. Sure, so if you're doing CPR, a lot of times I will say with uh, babies and children, it's breathing emergencies that turn into cardiac emergencies. So if the drowning or choking, uh, but if you do need to give a child a C type CPR, you just find a table with choke babies, you can actually hold them across your lap. And you're just basically kind of gripping them around the ribs and putting your thumbs right in the middle of their chest. So okay. like when an adult, you're using your hands, but here, and then you just start pumping 30 compressions to two breaths. So, and it's, it's quick, like a baby's heartbeat. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and 12, 13 and 14 and 15 and 16 and 17 and 18, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then you give two breaths and when you do it for the baby, you put actually your mouth all the way around so the nose and the nose mouth. and the mouth. And you go. And you can see their little chest rise. And then you keep repeating that for about two minutes. Obviously, before any of that, you want to call 911 because um, you want to make sure you can get them to advance medical care. As soon as possible. Absolutely. And let, because of that cardiac arrest, as you mentioned. Absolutely. So is there anything that we should know between babies and kids? Because at every stage, it seems like there's something different when it mm -hmm. comes to CPR, right? Absolutely, yeah. So with children, it, you can't grab them around the ribs. So you, it actually, it's um, it looks more like what the adult would like. So when you're, when they're, they're laying typically on the floor, and you're using one hand kind of right at the base of the sternum and you're doing still 30 though to two right. um, because the, if they are in cardiac arrest they really need the compressions to keep the blood moving but again the most important part is making sure you call 911 to get the emergency do care that there. first and I know uh, my husband being a first responder himself it can be exhausting doing compressions it is, it is not as easy as it mm -hmm. looks even you just doing that it, absolutely it gets mm -hmm. very exhausting very quickly so that's why it's so important to get 911 on the phone immediately absolutely and, and, and to get, get them other people trained around you so then you make sure that there are other people that provide that, can that support provide yes absolutely thank you so much You're Jennifer very thank you. and this is a course that people can take if they want yes. to come over to La Roche yes Billy, Monday, July 24th, I think is the date. Okay, great. Thank you so Thank much you. for all of your help. And we'll be right back after this.